All right, and we are up in just a minute, so here we go. Go for it, Tracy. You have game and everything. <laughs> no thanks to you wonderful people. Anyway, sir, you be up yet? New or load, I'd say. New game. Was there even an existing save file in here? Uh, name... Uh, maybe not on this memory card. Uh, there might be, though. T yeah, you should look and see if there's one. Hold time. on, I mean, I'm looking in the game guide. I can start a new game. Uh, I just don't know if you'll be able to save. Oh, sure. That's fine. Um, on the memory card. Yeah, it doesn't say that there is a save game, so... I have a choice of window type between square or oval. I'll do stereo sound, square. Alright. Please wait. Good. Please wait. Chip has the manual yes. so he can tell <laughs> the things. We will, we will this. Okay. He has one back right. in the days. Oh. Uh, yeah. So... You're using control pad, not uh, not stick. Okay. Yeah, because it's saddle. Triangle is ascend. Huh? What is that? Uh, box is descend. X is move forward. Circle is move backward. That's about it. Right. Oh, and that any of the shoulder buttons is converse with fish. <laughs> Up, down, forward, backward. Converse with fish. Yeah. So figure your top two buttons are your vertical movement, okay. your bottom two buttons are your uh, horizontal movement. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can find some fish to converse with. Out there, it just looks like a big massive blue. Uh, so, uh, this is your, just a brief background. You're the world's foremost marine explorer. Uh, your face and name are recognized around the globe. It's a senior oh. research of an elite oceanographic wow. institute. You're the pinnacle of profession. Because of you, the seas and all life within them are safer, healthier, and highly respected. But your hectic pace has caught up with you. You've stretched your mind and body beyond their limits. The stressful schedule and the pressures of worldwide renown have become far too much. It's time to let go. Is it? Is it um, time? Huh? Take command of the holiday, which is the name of your submarine. Okay. So you are truly, you are taking an Aquanauts holiday oh. and driving the oh, Aquanauts okay. holiday. Well, I can see the background is uh, rendering as I go forward, yep. so apologies if all you see is a giant square of blue for a while. I have to wait for the ocean to catch up with me. I think you can look down so you can see the floor. Yeah. Uh, doo -doo. yeah. So your, two, your four shoulder buttons are different sounds. So figure it's uh, oh, okay. so from the left should... going front to back, A, B, C, D. Oh, hey, discount cleric. Well, so see back. how they... We hit the four corners. And that's about it. Like, okay. float uh -huh. around. Look for interesting things. Let's look for things that are interesting. I see a bubble. That's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I think just for the sake of not getting too terribly lost, I'm going to hug the floor. <laughs> yeah. Getting lost. <laughs> the ocean is your pearl. Alright, I'm sending out a sonar and an echolocation. And Salutations, you dial M for Mara and I here. Hey, Hi. can a geek? Oh, so fish, Whoa. fish. Can yeah. a geek? A geek can, says so Schumann. <laughs> uh, and then you can change your direction, like right. your view. Uh, holding select and then using L1 or R2, R1 to rotate. Oh, okay, so I'm look at this rock underground. Wants me to say something to it, I think. Yep. Rock! <laughs> okay. Here we swim. So nicely. I wonder if we'll find a whale. Alright. I know, just off the top of my head, some weird things you can find are uh, a cluster of nautiluses. Not a lie. That will sing That's at you. It. There's a spaceship somewhere, and there's like a Cthulhu-esque city somewhere in there too. Goodness, let's find that city. All right, if we find that city in an hour, should we do a dance? <laughs> it's important to have that positive attitude. 
to think positively and congratulate yourselves on your successes. Like in my favorite palindrome. Did I pee deep? I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, some sturgeon fish seem uh, relatively interested. That's fantastic. But... Swimming in the ocean, the rocks create themselves before me. And apparently, uh, I've been told to give a shout out because most of my extended family is currently watching this. Hey right guys! Now. So, hi mom, hi sis, hello to. You probably got the crosses and the barn hearts over there. So, hi to everyone. <laughs> But yes, Candy Geek, I think this is just a peaceful ocean simulator. I, uh, I cannot confirm one way or another if things will be trying to eat me, but I guess no, we'll find out. No, they not. There's peaceful ocean simulator is correct. Yeah. You can talk to them mm -hmm. with your little, that's her little sonar beeps that she's making there. Yeah. yeah and the I think I'm stuck. stuck. Go for it. There we go. There you go. Yeah, remember, you can always, like, move up and down. Somewhere you, you have a map, but phone. I kept finding out how to get to the map. Uh, Oh, that's why, that's why, that's why, wrong way, come on, get back, come on. Oh, wow, there's, what is that? Come back. Oh, you're, you're how, how did I go backward? Remember, bottom buttons are your forward and backward movement. Okay. So circle on X. Sure. Yeah, sure, those are buttons, yeah. whatever. Uh, yeah. Are there goals, like a list of fish to see? Perhaps. All right, let's see if Not this turtle will talk to me. in the game itself. Talk to me, turtle. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Hey, baby. it is a turtle. Uh, hey, oh, come back. This reminds me of, um, we had these, you know, like every uh, elementary school at that age had the, like, Macintosh computers where you learn all the training stuff. And we yeah. had this mouse training program that was just, like, a deep-sea exploration game. Whoa. Just to teach kids, like, this is how a really mouse cool. works. That's pretty cool. Click the treasure chest. <laughs> Open the treasure chest. I want to talk to you, Tuna. Come back. Uh, you can call fish to you with sounds, special what combinations and rhythms. Oh, it's brain coral. Wow. Oh. That's cool. We didn't get to see that before. This is new. <laughs> Just drive right <laughs> into new it. Aquanauts. Get off the road, brain coral. Oh, Diff Hitman says after tonight I will only see the last three hours of the marathon. Oh no. Well, well that is sad. The last three hours tend to be pretty good. <sighs> so. That's good that you at least get to tune in for that. Right. Seeing that live is always, uh, always good to be there for the end. Hey guys. Particularly because Greg Z is going to be playing. Yep. Hell yeah. Greg is a new player this year for you, Pick. We have very high hopes for him. <laughs> Long time what viewer, first that? time player. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Z. <laughs> lonely, uh, lonely in Louisiana. Turtles Greg Z. are back. Um, but is yeah, that a manta? You can call fish to you with your sound. Special combinations and rhythms have surprising oh. as results. It's squeaky. Experiment to discover them. Really listen to the music. The effects are soul inspiring. <laughs> See if you could create similar sounds when talking to the fish. Let's uh, read this off. Each player will experience Aquanaut's holiday differently. Yeah. Did you just kill that fish? No. It With your at, sonic vibration? It regarded me and rejected my sweet beats. Yep. Oh, Chloe, it's a sunfish. Chloe says, yay, Sharky. YouTube! Everything will be on there after. That's true. Sharky. Thanks to our sponsor, OCZ, we have a solid state hard drive yeah. that is currently recording everything Shark. as it happens so we'll be able to put video up on YouTube we might have to cut it into some bits I'm not really sure but we will put this up on the YouTubes so you can as Chloe points out watch any games you miss I'm enjoying the this as a music game more than as an ocean game <laughs> exactly uh, Deft Hitman asked how often do you do these marathons uh, generally once a year, though we've experimented with different timing. Um, you know, we used to do them in December, and we've tried September, and now we're obviously trying June um, to see uh, how that works for everyone's Woo! schedule, volunteers and donors alike. So, oh God. you know, if you like June, donate lots and lots of money so we can say, yeah, June is super successful. If you don't like June, donate lots of money so we can go 
that was so good. We should do another one this year. Mm -hmm. Either way, donate lots of money, and we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that thing. We'll do that. <laughs> oh, and and also most importantly, as far as going back to my shouts, uh, hi Grammy, I love you. <laughs> hi Chips Don't Grammy. That one. Hello. The Grammy. I hope you're enjoying the, the Ocean Simulator. Grammy number one. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I'm backwards again. Okay. Onward. Onward to. What's down to there? whatever. To whatever your individual experience would be <laughs> with Aquanauts Home. Right. I feel like, um, oh, what's his name? Tyson, Tyson DeGrasse? How do you Neil, say Neil, his name? Neil DeGrasse, DeGrasse Tyson. Tyson. Thank you. Uh, I would love this game being narrated by him. <laughs> oh my gosh, he'd be like, what is this? Shoot, right. it says Steph, so you'd be doing it every again. nine months, maybe. Huh. Maybe we should do it that. I'm okay Are you with trying that? to set up for a joke here, Shuman? What was that? Okay, so you have, <laughs> you have semi annually. And yeah. annually. What would every nine months be? What's uh, the word for Gestational. That? Yeah. Gestational. <laughs> every. Yeah. <laughs> That's, you pick, you That's pick right. BG Marathon. The only gestational <laughs> charity marathon. We're Anawa number one. Ikban Abbasan Desu. Number one granny. Yeah, number one granny. <laughs> That's awesome. No, that uh, was actually a serious question. Oh, okay. Well, uh, hi. <laughs> We're not 100% sure when you pick VG5 will be. That is the answer. Down, dive, so, dive. So we've been doing it every nine months. Yeah, not well, not intentionally. Oh, um, like but yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, think well, at, to me. I think you're at maximum ascent, because that's what the oh, okay. uh, I can't that do weird up, like go... diamond symbol okay. that showed up at the top. That's oh, telling you okay, hey, gotcha. you don't get to go to the surface. You live under the sea. You're right. I'm the best in my field. I'm the best marine biologist there ever was. <laughs> There'll be no accusations. <laughs> just tons of friendly crustaceans under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> no, Homer. You always say we should escape to the ocean. <laughs> Can't you read Cube? No! <laughs> I need help! I can give you no more help than telling you that your, <laughs> your journey in Aquanauts Holiday is your own, your own god. <laughs> and with the dulcet tones of Chip, I proceeded forward I through mean, the depths. We noticed that like certain fish respond to the different calls differently. Hmm. Like, you like that one, Turtle? That was found, like a nautilus or something that would like do a flip whenever you did one of the calls. Huh. That's pretty cool. Like yeah, you just kind of have to get up to them and sonar at them. <laughs> just sonar at them. Just sonar. At you ready? Them. Fine. Sonar, 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 sonar. Where are some jellyfishes? Huh? Okay. Uh, you've already jetted away. I don't know how to go forward. It is the other button. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Jellyfish. Uh, X is forward, circle is backwards. Okay. I'm on Jellyfish. Yep. Oh, you kind of pulsed with your song. Where'd it go? Uh, Candy Geek wants to uh, know, were we inspired by Desert Bus? Uh, yes. Actually, You Pick was inspired by a fundraiser I did in college. Um, which itself was inspired by Desert Bus, but I have been a Desert Bus watcher since DB2. Wow! Oh, sorry, sorry, buddy. Uh, and actually, um, got into Desert Bus because of my friend Ashton, who sent me a message and said, you should check this thing out. I think you would like it. And then he became their, like, lead technical engineer <laughs> after that. Squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> so most Desert Bus people know Ashton. So, Desert Bus, I found out because of Ashton, and then uh, decided to do a fundraiser when I was in college. I was president of a charity club that was building a elementary school in rural Cambodia. Um, and said, hey, we should do a video game live stream fundraiser for that. So that was my first one. And we actually emailed the Desert Bus guys to ask for their uh, advice and if they'd be okay with us basically using their idea. They were great about it. Graham and I want to say Jeremy came into our chat for several hours and egged us on and gave us advice and 
sent the LLR forums to come watch, and they've been great uh, supporters of us as we are supporters of them. The charity marathons got to stick together, man. That's really great how nobody in like the charity marathon circuit, such as it is, like I had the idea first. Like no, no one else can do it. Yeah, right. it's all like everyone wants to support the idea of gamers giving back and doing you know, great causes. It can be, you know, as varied as something like this, like charity water or for, you know, cancer or really um, all kinds of things. So that's just, that's so exciting for me, at least. Yeah. It's a great community, um, you know. Truly. <gasps> what are you? Break, break, break. Just some, like... Oh, some grass. <laughs> yeah, see. De- and Deaf Hitman said Fallout oh. should definitely be in the next marathon. We're going to leave those off. Those lights that just went off. That sounds yeah. good to me. It, it's easier no to move. Yep. Easier to move. As soon as Grant gets here. Right. And Grant right. will get here and turn them on, and we'll have to murder him. <laughs> hey, um, guys. You ready for a lot well, dismemberment? No, because Grant will have to text to get let up here. So I will have to get up to let Grant in, which will turn on. Oh, I used adorable. to think fundraiser was fundraiser back when my elementary school did the candy and magazine sale fundraisers. It made perfect sense to me. It raised money, and adults were all the time telling me that things that weren't really fun were fun. Oh. <laughs> yep, Schumann. It's a fundraiser. Didn't a lot of those candy bar wrappers say fundraiser on them, too? Yeah, they probably did. Chloe, the command worked. Not typing things twice, Chloe. A big clamp? But yes, uh, yeah, Def Tip Man, if you want to see Fallout blossom. in the next marathon... Put it on that request games page. Just a simple comment that says Fallout, especially if you have a specific Fallout that you want. Oh yeah, like Fallout One would be really cool. You know, New Vegas just came, or maybe by the time we do the next one, Fallout Four will be out. So yeah, yeah. I wouldn't bank on it. But. Yeah, <laughs> they just you know they just right. showed the teaser. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they haven't given a release date yet, and when they do, that'll probably get pushed back. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's uh, stuff. Going. Check out fun razors in your Halloween candy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Chloe says everything died on my end. Shouldn't you be sleeping or eating or driving? <laughs> I'm doing all three. <laughs> <laughs> and chatting with Chad. I'm chatting with my left foot. Good the right sure. foot works the time. Oh, oh, the entire stream decided it didn't like my iPad. Oh, sorry. Anymore. That happens. That Talk happens. to me now, turtle. I tried. Is this a uh, love affair between a pink fish and a turtle? Just lose a controller. It, it just fell. Yeah, it's okay. We're, we're okay. I'm gonna find some place to put those batteries there. No, oh, no. I want to talk to you, Squid. Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, crap. That's all. <laughs> trying to be sneaky. Aww. Honestly. Wouldn't that be awful, too, if it just started this, like, alarm? <laughs> like a GoldenEye-esque alarm? And then all of a sudden, da-da-da, da-da-da. We're like, oh god, where's the movie? Alright, so I'm gonna keep going along the surface here. Look for, we saw some algae blooms and some brain coral. That shit mentioned a possibility of a spaceship, and well, that sounds like you've won the game once you found that to me. Mm-hmm. Do you need another tip? Give me a tip. Even when you feel you've discovered all there is to see, more wonders may be hidden in the mysterious liquid world. <laughs> Keep looking in unlikely spots while you enjoy the drifting sea life and calming currents. Oh, I found some mystery. It's autumn here. Yeah, it's coral. Coral. You really get up a lot of momentum, and I'm not entirely sure this is how physics works, but that's pretty cool. We found some orange coral. Uh, Schumann says, a while back I saw a design for a corded keyboard with six keys that were designed to be on the back of things, like on the back of steering wheels. I wonder using one. Uh, I wonder using one of those would be with a phone would successfully do anything to ameliorate the texting whilst driving problem. Uh, probably not because the problem is that people aren't <laughs> are doing things other than paying attention to driving. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. But I mean, who knows? Yeah. It would definitely be uh, easier than like. Yeah, the like completely losing your sense of where you are and if you're even going straight. Uh, Clownfish! It's Nemo! Do you, which of these sounds pleases you, Clownfish? Oh, uh, okay. Well, come back. We like those. Yeah, this one? Clownfish likes this sound, everybody. 
<laughs> Seeing you mash in those makes me think of stinking bread game. <laughs> oh, no, clownfish, come back. Read your text though. Oh, with the brain implant. Um, <laughs> right. Obviously, on your heads-up display. Tell yeah. me, Greenfish, is this a pleasing sound? <laughs> well, you stop swimming. I'm assuming that means you're dead. So I guess you don't like that. You one killed it. At all. Good job. Sorry, sorry, friend. Sorry, friend. It just goes. Whoa! <gasps> a whale! It's a humpback whale! Talk to it. Talk to it. No, come back. Friend. Speak, friend, and know your place. Oh, look at it, it's Ben! Let's just call this whale. Oh, cool. Now there's a cross out when we ban someone. <laughs> I'm glad we installed that update to Chatty. Uh, on a screen, but the problem with touch screens is that you have to look at them for sustained periods of time while you're typing, so they kind of monopolize your senses. Since Monopoly might be my favorite band name. Actually, Monopolize Your Senses might be a better name of the problem. Uh, it's not so much reading, uh, it's not so much the reading the text, it's the clicking over to the text app and selecting the person who just sent you the text and then writing them a response. And By which point you've already crashed into the car in front of you. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those, um, ah! gulper eels. Gulper eels! Excuse me, gulper eel, I didn't mean to bump into you, I Basket can't really eel. stop. Is that what it's called? It's one of the ones that they have the jaws, the gaping open mouth, and they just catch plankton while they're swimming around. That's pretty cool. Like a basking I, I, I seem to be speeding up. Is that a problem? <laughs> Well, you got it on full call. I'll be back, you guys. Okay. All right. Do a secret mission. We're going to find Rilla by then. You don't know what I'm talking about, Papa. Talk about Rilla. Hi, you. Which of these sounds do you like? Hi. <laughs> huh. Oh, man, you just bumped it. I, I can't oh, what's that? Hey, buddy. Oh, it's the whale again. Whale. Hi. Be our friend. Whale. Well, man, lots of them are coming for me. They're coming for me. Coming for the jam session at the submarine. All right. <laughs> oh, it's Manta. Where? Yeah, this just flew over you. Oh, is this the edge of the ocean? No, it's just. A... Oh wow. Well. There. I hope we see an octopus. Now I've gone backwards. Like, what, what is this? You might have hit. Try to go forwards though. Yeah. I use an Xbox pad. Give me a keyboard any day. Is this a PS3 game? Um, it's not on the PlayStation Network. Hey, um, yeah. Uh, this is an original PS1 game, um, and we're playing an original copy. This came out really early in the PlayStation lifecycle. Like, I think this came out the same month as Parappa the Rapper. Subs out of control! Uh, which recalls to mind something Stephanie once said, which I enjoyed. This is from Schumann. They give driver's licenses in New Jersey? I thought they just gave them cars and taught them how to hit things. This is the gas pedal, used to run into people in front of you. This is the brake pedal, used to make people behind you run into you. Jeez. Come to my aid, fishies. <laughs> Take me to the spaceship. Now, if we had found the... So, if there's a previous save game, you can drop buoys. Oh, that's cool. Or, like, waypoints that you will you can hop to. Oh, that's neat. And I know in Grants, oh, he I dropped guess. one in front of... I can't remember if it was the spaceship or the city. Do you like that? Come closer, buddy. <laughs> Come to me, my friends. Come closer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What, what is that? I think it's an electric eel. Wow! wow. I'm communicating with an electric eel. Thanks, video games. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you, <laughs> Nintendo. PlayStation. 
One evil. Isn't it so nice to see all the marine life in harmony? All the turtles uh, swimming in the deep sea, apparently, for some reason. <laughs> Gruppers just, you know, hanging out and not getting eaten. <laughs> Let's look at found some uh, kelp bed. That's it truly cool. is an aquanauts holiday. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> These are the kind of games that I love if someone's just tuning in. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh man, what have they been playing? Goldeneye? Okay, cool. Played some Zelda. What else? WarioWare? I love all those games. Yeah, Welcome I'm to playing. the silently moving through the ocean hour. And not even the real ocean, the polygonal ocean as portrayed in Aquanauts Holiday. <laughs> Thank you, just. Those total NPR voices. So just kick back, relax, maybe uh, pour yourself a beverage. It's warm out there today. Maybe a nice refreshing lemonade with iced tea. We call those Nara Palmer in this day and age. And uh, just, you know, kick back, put your sunglasses on, and imagine yourself deep under the water. Uh, can a geek on Mara's account so I don't have to cover up the screen. They should make a modern version of this. And Zeke is back. They made something pretty close, weirdly enough, with the Dreamcast version of Echo the Dolphin. And that it looked really good. Like, it's had some kind of, like, blurry bits away, but, like, for the time, they, like, actually borrowed National Geographic, like, images of dolphins to make it look more realistic. Oh, I know, um, so there were two sequels to this. Uh, mm-hmm. One was on the PS1, and the other was on the PS2. Uh, and the PS2 one, I think, is, like, Aquanauts Holiday Endless something. Endless Ocean, maybe? Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was a Wii game that was very similar to this, but actually had, like, objectives and stuff. It was more like you were exploring... Uh, Follow me, uh, Shipwrecks and stuff like That's that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And there's always the Wonder of Wonders, Echo the Dolphin, mm-hmm. for Genesis, one of my favorites... Where are you guys? You barracudas need! You can get that on 3DS now, I believe. I got the Dolphin? Yeah, I think it's Brilliant. one of the 3D classics. That's hilarious. Because um, Sega let, uh, basically hired a really good emulation company to make cool. updated 3D classics, and I'm pretty sure Echo is one of them. Oh, uh, that solves the Genesis emulation problem, at least. Yeah. For... Oh, it's a swordfish. Uh, is, it, is that barracuda or swordfish? Swordfish and or Barracuda, do you like this music I've made for you? <laughs> do you enjoy my mixed tape, Barracuda? It's yes or no? I made it for you. Do you want to go to the prom with me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I rigged it! Oh, uh, yeah, it's a swordfish. Oh, that makes it sound like a child's squeaky toy, and I feel just terrible. You should. Well, You're a monster. No. <laughs> Yeah, Leechy Mod says I'm kind of reminded of Train Simulator. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because I think it's funny how like the simulator games have kind of blown up. Like I even saw a Farm Simulator has a disc copy for the 360. Oh, that's amazing, Manta. Hello, Ray. What's up? The Echo. Echo is not easy. I'll give them that much, but. It rewards just like looking around for things. Yeah. And just like, that's actually how I beat the game, yeah. was by no like strategy of any kind. It was just swimming around. And look, we found a thing. Pot- potentially a thing. Looks like a something rusty. Maybe it was some kind of scary quarrel. Do we find a scary quarrel? He is Professor Quiddle. <laughs> that is a Quiddle. <laughs> Drone of the dungeon. <laughs> I just thought she should know. And so it begins. <laughs> is the uh, Chip and Tracy quote all of Harry Potter? Uh, uh, you recite Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and then continue on through Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, concluding at midnight tonight with <laughs> Harry Potter musical. Shh, they don't know about that yet. That, ha- that very Harry Potter musical? <laughs> That's a thing. Oh, yeah. There was totally a thing here. You saw the thing. Mm-hmm. It's gone now. I see. It's gone. There. There. Is that a huge crap? You? Catch up to it. I'm going. It's going slower than time. <laughs> I think it is a like a giant. Enemy crab? 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Giant enemy crab. Giant enemy crab. Uh, <laughs> oh! Schumann wants. Yeah, look, it's a giant hermit crab. Oh my Schumann god! Schumann wants to ask uh, about Echo. Wasn't the final level a th uh, a thing, a long butt auto scroll where the final boss would kill you in one hit and you'd have to do the whole auto scroll level again from the beginning? Yes, but the boss <laughs> wouldn't kill you in one hit. You had to be very careful. But if you just pretty much attacked it as some kind of like giant grid pattern, like went around the screen constantly. Then it was okay. Uh, and then you got a code at the end for the final battle, and you could revisit it. But yeah, the weird auto-scrolling thing was probably the easiest part of that whole, like, last bit. The first was the tube, where you have to, like, it's like a thing's falling down, you have to avoid them to get out of the tube that sucked up you and your family after you went back in time and then forward in time to save them and go up with them in the water spout to the alien spaceship. And then you were in the area that was a weird auto-scroller with horrible xenomorph looking heads and then you fought the most horrible alien head of all but that part wasn't that hard if you figured out a good strategy is, I love this game <laughs> I just love because it's like that entire sentence right there is like so it's a game about a dolphin yeah <laughs> duh, uh, duh I'm still trying to get close enough to this hermit crab I'm not scared away and also uh, Super Chloe's play by play this definitely has more action than the Triwizard Tournament can you imagine watching the events <laughs> tiny human giant dragon Stare at a lake for a while. <laughs> Watch it. Oh. It surfaces in triumph and can only speak murmurish. It's very confusing. <laughs> well, we found a crab, everybody. Stare at Maze for a while. Maybe I feel see very accomplished. Somewhere. What songs do you like, Krabby? <laughs> I think I played a song that made the hermit crab go back in its shell. <laughs> wanted to grab your uh, full description of Echo. Hey. <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. <laughs> what? Oh, he's going in his house. He made the crowd go in his house. Hello, gerbs. Gerbs. Hey, gerbs. I'm, hey. <laughs> I'm trying to visualize it right now and imagining Echo getting smooshed against the edge of the screen, falling <laughs> off the bottom of the screen to the Kirby death jingle. <laughs> I'm so excited my Twitch chat didn't work for so long, says Jerbs. Well, happy you're here. Um, it's okay. Leechy Mods is asking how the heat's treating us. Um, we've got fans and the room is pretty wide open, so it hasn't, um... Yeah. We're not cooking. Yeah. As uh, long as you sit still, it's okay. Just kind of warm. Yeah. Well, that was a bit, uh, bit of excitement here at the Ocean <laughs> oh yeah. So now we will, we oh. found a we found, crab uh, and uh, found the saw that will make it go back into its shell. Thanks for joining us, Simon. Mm -hmm. G5 and the uh, Aquanauts holiday. So <laughs> we will be going forward now to look for more hermit crabs, or who else knows what awaits us at the bottom of these ocean shores. Stay tuned. <laughs> Funny thing about hermit crabs <laughs> is uh, <laughs> their home is also their car. Good lord! <laughs> what songs do you like fish that swim above me? Oh, Beach also streamed a couple of fish touching simulators. <laughs> nice. You gotta love that. I still want a turtle to love me. That is my goal for this hour. Interesting game! Kinda. <laughs> now. In a way. Yeah, that about sums up. It's, um, I mean, you can find some really weird stuff. Like, we found, like, an underwater wall or aqueduct or something. I found this. Oh, <laughs> you found the floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Hey, Megabyte. Welcome back, Megabyte. <laughs> love me, turtle. I love you. <laughs> no. Alright. I haven't found anything too terribly weird so far. Maybe we should just go somewhere. Just kind of cruise. Yeah, just cruise. You know, sometimes I want to just get in my holiday, my gigantic submarine, and I just want to cruise, you know. No really, not really going anywhere in particular. Not, not ration any fuel or, you know, char no. any uh, subsea vent ecosystem. No, I don't even check my oxygen tanks, you know. <laughs> I, I like to just let fate decide. Oh, oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> this beat is. This I love this game. I love this game. Oh, 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 giant coral forest. So weird. And all sorts of pink fishies. Pink fishies. I thought that would happen right after I sat down. <laughs> but the, the scooting fish, they found a fish that scoots, that's pretty cool. In no way. Uh, Alright, so we found the forest of pink coral. And now we found some yellow brain coral before we only <sighs> had any green brain coral. The green burn. Maybe we'll find brain coral of all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm saying that wrong. Coral. It's more like coral, not like coral. 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 You have a coral. Coral. C O R A L. Coral. Oh, jerks. You don't, don't see a lot of coffee? There is a K cup machine and an espresso machine in the kitchen. Yeah. As don't well you worry. as an entire sheet cake. So I think we're covered as far as the energy goes. And I think like 20 sleeves or so. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is it a turtle? Will you let me? Now, if they ever make a game that just has the vibrancy of the um, core way for Finding Nemo, like that would be amazing. Oh, yeah. That doesn't involve like shoot all the evil people out of this coral reef. You don't belong here. Yeah. Sorry, fish. I think we're already Watch the uh, third Tomb Raider is gonna be uh, <laughs> another uh, another uh, game where you just shoot tons of guys, but you're in the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> And that's how we uh, stop the acidification of oceans. We just throw dead bodies in it, mm -hmm. so that's good. Well, <laughs> Jerk says, okay, you can't have a marathon without cake and coffee, in my opinion. No way. Swim away, we'll dance and we'll play with something, something, any fun. Somewhere beyond the sea. Somewhere. Oh, whoa, whoa, Bioshock's not in the list. That song was not in Bioshock, weirdly enough. Like, of all of the yeah, kind of mournful, like, jazz song. No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. What is that nonsense? Clam. <gasps> I found a clam. Give me a pearl. I'll find what song you like. Blood is basic. From CJ Kennedy. And a lobster, I think. Super Chloe says that uh, Stephanie, instead of running on caffeine, is running purely on cake and the sonic waves being sent out <laughs> by Tracy. Yes. Hey! Hey! Hello. Hi! Uh -huh. Hi! Who likes that one? That's right. At this moment, Stephanie is in her regeneration chamber, and I'm oh, sending the sonic waves to her. I think that's a scallop. You like that sound, scallop? That is a pretty big scallop. Well, we are on the bottom of the ocean floor. It's true. Jeez, give me some garlic butter. Yeah. There's an abalone. Abalone. No, they're, um... Yay, they like that song, too. Yay. <laughs> that junk is that? Is that something dead? Is it like a, uh... A drawing in the water? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe it's a secret. Ascend. Ah. Uh. Yeah, like... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Whoa. It's those big, translucent leaves. Wow. Do you do anything besides just sit there? Oh, sorry, Schumann. We stepped away from the computer and heard Sonic. Got too excited. <laughs> maybe, maybe later. Oh, yeah, you're right. We found a whole garden of them. That's pretty cool. Wouldn't it be uh, weird if, like, just the entire game just floating behind you is, like, some horrible monster <laughs> slightly out of sight? <gasps> it's all Nessie following us. It's like, uh... I, I think I found a lobster. Oh, neat. It's just the uh, old woman who secretly lives inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was your home is the ocean, so she was secretly lives there too. Lobster. Someone besides. Let's sing. Schumann says someone besides me has to want Sonic and Knuckles. I mean, I say that, but it definitely isn't true. No, I wouldn't mind playing it somewhere. Yeah, look, it's a freaky lobster. Freaky lobster, guys. Highlight of the stream, freaky lobster. <laughs> highlight, highlight, highlight. That's our mascot, you pick BG lobster. You pick BG, freaky lobster, dot com. <laughs> that is our new buddy. Hi. Hello. We have a deb for you now. Stream, chat, stream. Well, 
Welcome, Dad. Uh, I think I think Grant's here. I think I have to go right back down. Okay. Everybody. Yep, about to turn in and park. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Where's the freezer? Ah, I'll show you. It's actually out if you want to. Okay. Well, those are getting back up here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> I think people just want other things more. Go press the button. I will press the button. It's a good point. The lobster needs to be on there. Boop. Did you get him? Yeah, it's been three minutes. It's been less than three minutes. I keep breaking the cardinal rule, but honestly, it's just you and me, so. Yeah. Whoa, Survivor TV is hosting us for 21 viewers. Awesome! Oh my gosh. Sounds great. Dude, Schumann. He's already put 150 bucks on Sonic and Knuckles, and he's currently unemployed. Yes, please. Oh, Let someone else donate. There's some weird looking fish. Call all, it's basically like tell all your friends who are like, I don't know what that Sonic and Knuckles is. Be like, it helps people with water. Give money. <laughs> Say Sonic and the Knuckles. Say Zelda and the Zelda, you know, or hmm, what and, other uh, games are some big draws? Deft Hitman says Pokemon Snap for the win. Lol. Oh man. Uh, I would be thrilled to play some Pokemon Snap. We have four minutes until the next bet. All right, so get those donations in. Pokemon Snap, that's what I'm rooting for. Let me take a look and see what you're looking at. I don't, I don't think the donations have changed much. Or the rankings, excuse okay. me. Well, Let's see. Let's see what we got so far. All right. <clears throat> a very close race for the top five. Oh, yeah? Number one, still Hello Kitty Cute Frenzy. Oh, no. <laughs> Number two is Battletoads. Oh, boy. Number three is Super Mario World. Okay. Number four is Steel Battalion. Oh, God. And back in number five is Goldeneye. Oh. <laughs> now, just for funsies, everyone, we've got three minutes. It would take two dollars to put Super Mario World in number one. It would $2. take... Two dollars. Holy moly. It would take... $17 to put Steel Battalion at number one. And it would take $6 to knock Goldeneye out of the rankings to be replaced with Restar, the Shooting Star, a Sega classic. And then finally, $10 will put Pokemon Snap at number five. $10, come on, we can do this. We can $10 do $10. $10 is all it takes. And we'll play Pokemon, Pokemon Snap, and I will not have to do Steel Battalion, and I'll be a happy lady. Oh no, you can still do Steel Battalion. No. No, I can't. No. We broke it. Oh, I, I broke it. <laughs> um, Here's some different colored coral, everybody. This color's coral is gray. Before, we saw green and orange coral. Oh, that's spiky coral. Spiky coral. Blah, 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 blah. Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, says Superboy for Hello Kitty Keep Frenzy. And oh, Tracy, yeah, this yeah. is going to be your last game for me. It is. It's going to be my last uh, player one shift too, actually. Oh snap! So this is um, this has been so much fun. I'm so glad we got to play all these weird, awesome things. Got to do my favorite game. Got to do some shooters. Got to explore the mystery of the ocean. Now, if and you could, we'll see what happens next. If you could get, if you could play anything that's kind of floating around the top ten here. Oh be? man, Pokemon Snap, absolutely. Because that game, like, of all the games that are here that are represented from, like, my childhood, that is the one that I just, I watch so fervently whenever we play at the broadcast. I think we played it once, um, two years ago, and then once yesterday, so it'd be so much fun to watch again and just continue with the story. Maybe we'll get to Mew. How cool would that be? Yeah? yeah, get away. Get away from my, my son. My sub is boss. My sub, my sub, my sub is in the way. You are. You are fish. You are my way. Uh, Grackies is hosting us for 22 viewers. That's wonderful. Thanks, Grackies. Yeah, anybody who's joined, um, welcome to you pick. We're really happy that you're joining in us, in us today. I've um, got a few more minutes to go before we spin the wheel for the next hour of games. It's a tight race. And I want to play Pokemon Snap, I don't know about you, but we've also got Steel Battalion and Battletoads, Super Mario World, and Hello Kitty Cute Frenzy, which I've never played before, but I will give it my best effort, so we'll see in just a few minutes. 
Chloe chooses mystery game. Ooh, sweet. All right, mystery game. I, I've been uh, lucky. I've opened two presents so far on during the stream. The presents behind me are mystery games. So if those are selected on the Wheel of Destiny, we'll open them and give them a go. Uh, the last one was WarioWare, and that was great fun. And then before, we played um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, and that was bizarre, but a pretty good throwback, too. So who knows what awaits us in these presented boxes. Professor Oak donated $12. I need more pictures of <laughs> Poke butts. Well, I'll do my very best to get only butts. No faces, no center of the frame, just butts. Well, let's see. Let's see. Because, all right, let's, we're at the spin moment. All right, spin but with moment. those two donations, that is knocked Goldeneye out, putting Pokemon Snap at number five. Excellent. So. I'll come around, spend it, and I'll come Let's around. Let's find out. Alright, everybody. Moment of truth. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's kind of on number one, I think. Oh. Is that a one? I think that's a one. Judges, is that a one on the wheel? That is a one. That is a one. Next yeah. game. Hello yeah. Kitty Cube Frenzy. <laughs> oh boy. Well, for the mean in the meantime. Oh. Uh, for the meanwhile. Right at the last moment. That's definitely a one. Every bit matters, Schumann. All right, I'd like to ask everyone in the chat to join me in the singing of the sonar, where we press the L, R, L, 1, and R, 2, and L, R, and the, the buttons on the trigger, those ones. It's been a long day for me. We're going to sing. Boo, 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 boo. Viewers at home, pick up your own PlayStation controller and press the matching buttons. Boo, 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 boo. Whoa, what are those things down there? It's more funky looking plant life. That's uh, the second of the interesting ferns that we've seen. Boo boo, boo boo. <laughs> Join me, everyone. Boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, boo boo. Well, this game has been surprisingly enjoyable. I really wasn't sure what to expect, but we're doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you take that fish. That's right. <laughs> Pank fish, come follow me. Oh my goodness, guys. Here. Alright. <laughs> Good times are bound. Well, I don't see any spaceships, unfortunately, but we'll do our best. Swimming around, swimming around. Right, everyone, we are up to. We just broke. $2,900. Awesome! Oh my gosh, we can totally get to 3000 in my last hour. That would be you pick's gift to me. Oh my gosh, that's so, so great. $83. $83 it. is all it will take to get us to 3000 You can bring Goldeneye back. You can bring this game back. We can boop along until our heart's content. An econ major approaches. Yes, the um, donation list should update after about five minutes or so, so just uh, give us a second to get everything logged, and then the rankings will change after that. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What found is it. this? You found the monoliths. <gasps> yes. Goodness gracious. Yep. Look. Golly Moses. It is definitely a city. Googly yeah. moogly. Look at it. What? Resplendent in its glory. Take it all in. It's just, it's just, this is magnificent. This is, this is some of the best underwater city that I've ever seen in my life. Do, do I sing to the city? Oh, 
That'd be weird if, like, they start to resonate with what your boobs and weaves <gasps> are. Oh my gosh, it would be like Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Yeah! <laughs> That'd be so cool. Ba ba, ba ba ba. Oh, uh, Schumann says an econ major approaches. <gasps> I, I meant Azuron. <laughs> He's an econ major. Alright, I'm gonna try to get so around the monolith. Well. This ended on a very triumphant note. We found something truly bizarre, and we yep. saw some fish, and we saw some kelp, and a turtle didn't love me, unfortunately, but maybe if this game comes she around again, I found it. And a flower? And also a chip. Hi, Debbie. Nice to meet you, Debbie. Welcome, Debbie. Have a seat. Let's do it. Oh, wow, chat's huge. Boop, 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 boop. Open for me, clam, in your oceanic delight. Oh, someone is Radical Edward. That's great. Hey, it's good. Ah, there we go. So, all right, I will swim toward the plant life a little bit further. What is this in the distance, these? Oh, okay. Oh, much. <gasps> Are those tentacles? Look, look how I can make the tentacle rise. With this one, I think. What is that? Oh my gosh. Come on, buddy. Oh, got it. Something under here. It could be a giant octopus. It could. I'm not sure, but it rises with the low frequency boop boop. So let's see if we can find okay. big, do something else. Ah, oh, blue! Look at look look at go. Oh yeah, it's fine. Um, what? I I wish it was Tuesday too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play Pokemon Snap. <laughs> well, it is. It maybe would next take, time, guys. It would take a let's see, three dollars. Three dollars. But don't do it yet. Do it later. <laughs> well, I want to play that game. I love Pokemon. We all want to play Pokemon Snap in our hearts, truly. All right. So where's the monolith? I came around that way. Truman says, "Oh darn! I funded Water for Life for an uneven number of people again. Six and two hundred fifty-one <laughs> fifteen hundredths of a person." Uh, thanks, Truman. Don't That's talk awesome, though. That's really great, though. I mean, that's going to make a big difference in a lot of people's lives. Okay, George, she's it. I'm fine, thank you. No, I uh, okay. don't like, I was like, I'm a cheese it. And I've heard something, and I was like, all right, I'm awesome. I did that. And then like, the whole bag just, oh gosh. Betty it was like, <laughs> the problem with cheese it's with Deb. All right, is it time? You. Two more minutes. Huh. Hello, lobster. Is that a mantis shrimp? I can't it's tell. Oh my gosh. Name. It is Hello Kitty Cube Frenzy. Oh dear. Which is great because that means uh, I don't have to switch hands. <laughs> you have hydrated a finger on one person. Unless it's one of those big foam fingers, yes, perhaps. I don't think people are born with big foam fingers. You obviously haven't met my uncle, Big Foam Eddie. <laughs> They don't have Cheez-Its in Canada. That is something I didn't know. Yes, but you have poutine in Canada. That's true. You kind of balance out there. What? No, Cheez-Its? No. How can that be? <gasps> oh my god, no Cheez-Its. How can that be? <laughs> what? No, yeah, I'm eating Cheez-Its, but I made a giant mess. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> Does you think have an official snack? I don't think we do. Deft Hitman will still donate on Tuesday. Thank you. We appreciate that. All right. We've reached our right. end. Time to of switch. Aquanauts. Should Thank be. you for joining us and for boop booping along with the sonar options. A relatively easy switch since it's on the same console. No cheese. So. Poutine isn't a casual snack, though. You really have to commit to poutine. That's true. Poutine oh, is so. drunk snack. <laughs> that is. Snack. That's yeah. 
had poutine the other day. I went to upstate New York and uh, they had poutine at this random mm -hmm. pub I went for lunch. And so I had poutine for lunch. Sounds good. It's like, yeah, that's a meal. That that's that'll keep you going for the rest of the day. All right, Gengar, it's been real. It's my last hour. <laughs> I love you, man. Love you, man. More PlayStation 1 goodness. Ugh. So I played Final Fantasy 7 on the original PlayStation, but I think that's about it. I was a, firmly a Sega kid growing up. Doink, doink, doink. New kid go. Next generation games or next Canada generation has ketchup kids. chips? Not sure if that's better or worse. What's a ketchup chip? They have those in England too. They're crisps. And they don't really taste like ketchup, I suppose. More it's just like, like vaguely salad chip. flavored. <laughs> so that sounds amazing. FYI, don't eat them even if people dare you. Those things are evil in a potato chip. Yeah, they're they're disappointing. <laughs> 